I'd like to call the monthly meeting, the regularly scheduled monthly meeting of the City of Middletown Industrial Development Agency to order. Today is Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. Roll call. Madden? Yes. Hawkins? Yes. Brito? Yes. Cantoli? Here. Stefano? Here. Nemeth? Yes. Siegerman? Here. At this time, we're now going to have two committee meetings, the Audit Committee and the Finance Committee. Committee Chairman Hawkins is going to take the lead on these two committee meetings. Thank you. Hello, everyone. The first uh, part of our meeting, we're going to approve the minutes for the, at the Audit Committee. We need an approval from um, January 30th. Audit Committee, we have uh, Hawkins, Cantoli, and Nemeth. We need so other. moved. Okay. We have a second. Ms. Nemeth, Mr. Hawkins, either one of you can Sir. second. Mr. Hawkins, okay. And for the Finance Committee meeting minutes, um, Hawkins, Stefano, and Brito. Yes, so moved. Second. Minutes are approved. Any questions? She did do it. Okay. She just got the motion. Do we need to yep. vote? Do we need to vote yeah, on the minutes? Vote on Roll call. Yeah. Okay. Just for each committee? Yeah, each committee vote. Mm -hmm. So audit. Hawkins? Yes. Cantoli? Yes. Nemeth? Yes. Finance? Yes. Hawkins? Yes. Stefano? Yes. Brito? Yes. Okay. New hey, business. There's uh, no unfinished business. We'll move to new business. Presentation of the 2023 Audit and Internal Control Report of RBT is uh, Shannon Manice. Did I say that correct? Manice, it's okay. Manice? Yep. Um, were there any questions on the financial statement before I give a brief overview? Okay, so the IDA did receive a clean opinion. That's the whole objective of a financial statement audit. Um, so just some key highlights, the total assets were 262,000, which were up 148,000. And that is um, in proportion to the revenues going up um, 151,000, and that's because of the Polycraft uh, Industries revenue. Um, total liabilities were only $20, which was down $3,500 from last year. So the net position overall is up um, 151,000 to uh, equate to 262,000, and that's your overall uh, change in net position, which equals your your income. And uh, your expenses were only 10,000 for the year, which was down $4,400 from last year. So, um, in, in an economy where expenses are rising, yours went down. And um, last year, uh, the IDA actually had a loss. So. Again, the current year had a, a profit of $151,000. And there were no internal control findings and no compliance findings. Any questions? Any questions? No. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so should we do the um, resolution for that one now? Okay. okay. Or we have to review the annual report, right? Or are you doing- Oh, you wanna do the Paris? Go ahead. Are you doing the resolution separate? The, um, no, the resolution is on the okay. audit. Okay. Yep, so then the 2023 annual report, uh, just an overview and highlight <clears throat> that we added uh, Polycraft in 2023, the project. So um, there was a result of six construction jobs from Polycraft. And uh, a result in FTEs overall for 2023. In 2022, we had 242 reported FTEs. In 2023, 253. So there was a gain of FTEs last year um, for our reporting purposes. The rest of the um, report is pretty, uh, pretty much the same as the year prior, our mission statement, performance goals, nothing has changed there. And, um, and basically our projects basically are taken from the audit and uh, drilled into this annual report that will be submitted to the state. And that's all I have for. Okay. 
Anyone have any questions for Maria? So you have your Paris report and annual, everything that gets submitted. Okay, I'll read the resolution for the audit. Resolution to recommend the annual report, Paris report and audit for the year ending December 31st, 2023 and authorized submission to New York State. I have a motion? So moved. A second? Second. Any questions? That committee. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Brett, I don't think you're a part of that committee. It has to come from the audit committee. Pardon? Oh, okay. From the yeah. audit committee. Oh, okay. Which is... Hawkins, Cantone, and Nana. Yep. Okay. I apologize for the error. That's... <laughs> you did say audit. Yeah, I just uh, read so the moved. audit. Yeah. yeah. So I can make the motion. Yep. Yeah. Somebody else has to second it. Second. Do a roll call, Patty. Yeah. Cantoli? Yes. Hawkins? Yes. Yes. Okay, carried. We'll move on to the um, res a resolution recommend the investment report for the year ending December 31st, 2023, and authorize submission to New York State for the Finance Committee. Any discussion? Roll call. Hawkins? Yes. Stefano? Yes. All right. No other business as for an adjournment yep. of the committees, the two committees? Uh, for the audit committee, so moved. Com Brittle. So okay. okay. Cover all Thank you. All good. Thank you. We now return back to the full IDA committee, and we need an approval of minutes from January 30th, 2024. Minutes are included in our packet. We have a motion. So move. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. A second. Second. Thank you, Mr. Cantoli. <laughs> Roll. Madden. Yes. Hawkins? Yes. Brito? Yes. Cantoli? Yes. Stefano? Yes. Nemeth? Yes. Siegerman? Yes. Moving on to reports. The chairperson has no report this month. Reports of officers. The financial report from Leonora. Good afternoon. In front of you, you have two reports. Uh, the first report is a balance of your uh, bank accounts. You have the pilot checking of $116.63. The regular checking account of two hundred and ninety-four dollars and sixty cents. Uh, the savings account has some activity. You had a deposit total of nine thousand uh, dollars, leaving an ending balance of eleven thousand four hundred and fifty-seven dollars and eighty-nine cents. The money market account, uh, you have some activity there, of interest sixty-one dollars and eighty-eight cents, leaving an ending balance of two hundred and sixty thousand dollars and eighty-seven. $260.87.10, total $271,956.22. The second report is your year-to-date budget to actual comparison. Uh, you have a total income of $9,132.52, total expense $4,788.32, leaving uh, a profit of $434.20, and this is for the month of February, through the month of February, excuse me. Is there any questions for me? No questions for Leonore? Thank you. All right. We need a motion to accept the treasurer's, uh, the financial report. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Brito, a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Sigerman. Roll. Men? Yes. Hawkins? Yes. Brito? Yes. Cantoli? Yes. Stefano? Yes. Nemeth? Yes. Sigerman? Yes. Moving on on our agenda, RBT just presented in our committee meetings the audit presentation. Anybody have any questions that they just came up with? Any concerns? Again, a clean opinion. Absolutely. All right, we'll move on to our executive director's report. Ms. Bruni. 
I as well went over the annual report and Paris report during the Committee of the Whole. Uh, if anyone has any questions, I highlighted the job uh, FTE increases and the addition of Polycraft Industries to our uh, project list. And also, um, I could regarding Polycraft, we did have a report from Loki and Brill. They did a uh, we. They were hired to do a monitoring, job monitoring, and they submitted a report. <clears throat> right now, they're doing excavating work, and a uh, number of workers on site is four. It's Chiafi Excavating. So they're using 100% uh, local labor for their initial visits. Uh, we got back up with that, and so this, they're, they stated this report covers site visit made on February 29th, 2024. During this period, Loki Brill made one monthly site visit. Loki Brill checked for residents with four workers. Of those workers, there were zero out of area. No accidents were, were reported, and uh, they're in 100% uh, local compliance. So we have the file, um, the report for the file. Also, uh, we received, uh, everybody has a copy of these correspondence <coughs> we get from New York State <coughs> Department of Economic Development, a n notification of initial allocation regarding Bond Allocation Act of 2022. So our initial allocation for calendar year 2024 is 629,212. So this is the number we use if there's a project looking for bonding. Uh, for for 2024, and that's all I have. That's the max we can bond. It says this allocation is based upon the formula prescribed, yep, utilizing the most recent official population of the U.S. Census Bureau. But what is the? Um, it doesn't sound right. I, I don't know what the private activity bond allocation uh, is, sir. I could follow up and yeah, get back yeah, could to you. Yeah, you follow up with it. Because our project, most of our projects are, you know, multi-million dollar projects. Mm -hmm. not, um, if you could follow I'll up. I'll follow up and yeah. with ESD. Thanks. Any other questions for Ms. Bruni? We'll move on to reports of the committees. We've heard from the Finance Committee and the Audit Committee. Maybe the Governance Committee. Do you have anything this month? Thank you. All right. At this time, we have a resolution. We have a resolution to accept the annual report, the Paris report, <laughs> and the audit for the year ending December 31st, 2023, and authorize submission to New York State. Need a motion? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Brito. Second. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. Any questions? Roll. Madden? Yes. Hawkins? Yes. Brito? Yes. Cantoli? Yes. Stefano? Yes. Nemeth? Yes. Siegerman? Yes. Bills and communications. Mr. Chairman, we have uh, three bills this evening. We have our meeting schedule that was published in the Times Hole Record for $38.32. Our um, audit for 2023 uh, with RBT for $4,750. And then some office supplies, um, postage, uh, FedEx that we had to send out some mailing for $31.31. And that's all I have. Any questions about our bills? Need a motion to accept and pay these bills? Thank you, Mr. Sigerman. A second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Cantoli. Roll. Madden? Yes. Hawkins? Yes. Rudo? Yes. Cantoli? Yes. Stefano? Yes. Nemeth? Yes. Do we have any unfinished business this month? None this evening. Do we have any new business this month? No, none this evening as well. Then I need a motion for adjournment. <coughs> Thank Second. you, Mr. Brito. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. All in favor? Aye. Aye.